Hi everybody, this is Jimmy with Melissa's Produce in the Great Hatch Valley in New Mexico. We're here with our Great Hatch Chili Farmer, Dwayne Gillis from Gillis Farms. How you doing, Dwayne? Good morning, doing great, thanks. Good, you know, thanks for taking the time to, to show us around and uh, I guess right here, what are we looking at here? This is one of the early fields? This is our earliest field right here, so we're looking at uh, the first week of August. That's August. great, plants look great. And I didn't know that till uh, a couple of years ago when I came to visit you that you actually drop seed into the ground and that's how the, the hatch chili is grown. You don't actually go to greenhouses and plant, plant the seed and create seedlings and then plant seedlings into the ground. You actually drop the seed into the this ground. This is actually seeded, yes. Yeah. So how does that work with a lot of thunderstorms and wind and weather? How does that affect the crops? Well, the drier the year, normally the better flavor you have in the chili because when we get a lot of rain, then it does change the flavor of the chili. And we've had this year, we're in a drought, so we've had some really dry weather. So the chili should have a really good flavor this year. 